guys um in my last two videos you heard me ranting and going on and on about you know lipstick and lip color and how my favorite lip color to wear of the moment is Revlon's Teak Rose and put like um rose pearl from their lip gloss collection over it and I'm like you know what why not just show you my collection, my lipstick collection, instead of just talking and talking about it. Um, this summer is the first time that I really um, put my hand t towards um, building just a small lipstick collection and you know I decided to share it with you today. So if you're interested stay tuned and you'll see my brief lipstick collection. I promise it's nothing big so it won't be too long. So I'll see you in a little bit. I hope you stay tuned. Toodles! The first one I'm going to talk about is Louisiana from Nikes. Nikes or NYX however you want to pronounce it. Um, Nikes is actually the name of a goddess and um, that's what inspired the name for the brand but if you call it NYX that's fine I just call it Nikes no biggie but the first one I'm going to talk about is from that collection and it's called Louisiana and this is what it looks like it's a beautiful pink now this pink kind of threw me off because at first I didn't know if I was going to be able to pull it off so it was kind of an iffy buy but I'm just so glad that I was able to blend it out and wear it and it's actually this middle one right here like I'll even put it up to it so I could point to it it's this middle one right here and it's a beautiful pink against my um, skin tone so that's number one number two the second one I'm going to talk about is also from the NYX collection and this one is called Medusa you can see that it's a beautiful plum color and it's just great for this fall season you know that we're coming into the fall season and everything like this and this just reminds me of fall so I always you know I use it a lot during this time I had it for about uh, since about last September so this is going to be about one year now and I just love to use it in this season um, also if you're into bohemian chic like I am it's a great color you know to really pull off, help to pull off that style and also if you like to wear like dark black outfits and stuff like that like really chic looks it's a great color to wear with that because I think I've seen uh, fashion spreads where they are you know having like maybe a dark put together outfit and then they have maybe a dark lip or a dark eye or sometimes even both so you can make it chic as well so that's Medusa that's the that's my go-to lip color for this season the next one I'm gonna talk about oh did I show you the swatch oopsie <laughs> I don't think I showed you the swatch but this is the swatch here dark plum just a great color for my skin tone um, the next one I'm going to talk about is called Coral Punch and it's from the Palladio Collection. This is what it looks like and it has a really bright strong orange undertone which is like whoa a, such a statement piece. When they were saying Coral Punch they weren't lying about the punch part because it really is has such a statement to it. So you know I really wanted a statement lip so I went ahead and got it and they weren't joking so coral punch is this one here and you can see it has a really incredibly strong orange undertone to it so this is for the bold of heart like if you were that bold girl that loves that bold pop of color this is a great one now if you're that girl that really you know you like the coral color but you don't want to go this bold L'Oreal my next lipstick L'Oreal came out with a color titled Volcanic and this one has the orange undertone to it but it's not as intense as Coral Punch this one's name is yeah Volcanic 
And this is what it looks like. Volcanic is the top swatched one over Coral Punch, just so you can see the relationship that they have going on. You see that Coral Punch still has that orange undertone. It's a little bit glossy, so it makes it really wearable. Really, you can wear it anytime, every day, if you wanted to. But it's really beautiful, and it's another color that I go to, especially for this autumn season you see the leaves haven't started to change yet but when they do you'll see colors like this and then you just match it with the atmosphere it's so pretty so yeah um i am going to talk about we're going back to the pop of color really quick before i move on i'm going to swatch this one this one is another fall wear. It's more red. Oopsie. More red orange. Um, more of a red undertone than an orange undertone, but it's still kind of not intense red. It's that brick red, so it's still wearable. And I really like this color a lot. I really like, you know, color like red orange colors as you could probably tell but this color fire and ice I'll definitely be wearing this on a more frequent basis I'll be honest I really haven't worn that one yet so that's fire and ice though and those are my fall colors on my right hand did I forget which hand is which yes I did <laughs> on my right hand I'm going to show you my most wearable looks so I'll come back to you.